Hi folks. Today we're going to take a look at a Karen getting herself arrested and not only herself but her brother by getting involved in a situation that she has no business in. But before we get started, I've noticed through my analytics that a large number of you still haven't subscribed to the channel yet. I ask that you please do. Not only does it help me grow my channel, but I have a Discord page where we do movie nights and we, can, and we have a Facebook group that is starting to grow where you guys can post memes, share ideas for new videos you want me to take a look at, and with that in Discord, make new friends that you didn't know you could make. With that being said, let's jump into the video and enjoy. Uh, Matthew? Yes, sir. Officer Austin, what's going on? So, my bag got stolen today. Okay. Um, I wouldn't really care for it, except for like, there's military documents in there that I need. Okay. So, uh, they got pinged at this house right here. I knocked on both the doors and they said they don't want anything of it. Those at this house right here, I mean, it's kind of bugged around. But here, her and I drove here, and it's been, I don't know, I mean, I looked in the grass, maybe somebody threw out the window, but I can't find anything. And I tried to ping it and play a sound, and I can't, it's not in the grass, I can't ping it. Can you just show me the ping again, just kind of where it's... Usually it's right there, but before it was right over here, so it's kind of been jumping back and forth. I don't okay. know if somebody's moving it around. Okay. What kind of iPad is it? It's a backpack. Oh, backpack? Yeah, That's it's, it. it's like a black military, like, combat bag. Okay. So, okay. I mean, and like a, and what, what's in it that you're tracking? An air tag. So I don't know if some, you know what an air tag is, right? I don't yeah. know if somebody might have thrown out the window. I wouldn't care if they took like, like the shaving cream. I wouldn't care. Like it's a travel bag. Yeah. So I wouldn't care if they took anything else. But there's a there's a food like binder in there. Yeah. And it has like my banking information, my notes, my military documents. Like I need that binder. I don't, it can, I don't care. Okay. Okay. We have now come across a point where I want to catch up with everything. So let's understand what we have so far. We have a gentleman who spoke to the cops talking about his bag being stolen, holding financial documents, military documents, and miscellaneous items. He's concerned about getting his military documents and his financial documents back. He's tracked the bag to this location thanks to an air tag. Any kind of a tracking tag system, I recommend, if you have the means. Other than that, let's see what happens next when the officers encounter the owner of the house. I mean, it could very well just be in the garbage. Sounds like somebody answered the door, though. The resident was later identified as 19-year-old Mario Camacho Jr. Mario? Okay. So, you got the backpack here? Or I actually this? don't. I have neighbors, and uh, he told me that he talked to them. Okay. These neighbors over here? Or these ones. I don't know. He just he came to this house. Oh, yeah. The, the air tag is, is going right here. What? Okay. At this address, it can be... That's my bag. You know, I was cleaning my car out, but I'm looking Okay. Alright. Like I said, I don't know why I would be popping up here. Like I like I said, the neighbors, any anybody else in this area, I'm the only one here I know what is in this house. And there's definitely no backpack in here. And the business, we call this foreshadowing. Alright, just uh I might come back to chat with you, just think tight. Can you advise where any purses or brown wallets taken from these vehicles these garbage cans are full of purses and brown wallets well 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 i mean that's not looking good i mean the police searched the trash cans and well there's several stolen purses and other and other handbags and backpacks not to mention we have an actual geotag on this on this bag that it's in question being pinged to this house I don't know. I think you might want to change your story. There's credit cards here too. Are you guys allowed to look through my property? Hey, garbage? Yeah. I drove by and I see y'all searching through my brother's trash can, so I'm just wondering what's going on. Well, if it isn't the star of today's video, Karen. But let's see, Karen, you don't live there. And your brother broke the law by stealing. And the cops are searching because, well, there's an air tag pinging off to this location of a stolen bag. So... 
that's all you really need to know. They don't have to tell you anything at this point. Well, someone's gotta let me know what's going on. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You see, you're not involved in this situation, Karen. You're not involved in this in any way. You don't live there at that house. It's not your property that was stolen. And you're not an attorney. Now, just because you might have watched a couple episodes of Law and Order in the practice doesn't really mean anything. The cops don't have to cooperate with you. They don't have to tell you anything. What they do need to tell you is to move along and stop interfering. But you can't tell Karen what to do. They tell you what to do. Can you tell me what's going on? Do you live here? I come here often and I drove by and see you guys searching my brother's garbage can, so I am just wondering what's going on. Okay, and well, there's cars out you here. Don't, you don't live here, you don't need to know right now. Actually, I do. Mario, what's going on? Time for, you have enough key runner. Who are these people? They're the ones who called us. Okay, so they don't live Henry, here. You, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. So Why I just you had, you had a bag stolen. my brother's Will you let garbage me talk? can. Will you let me talk? I actually been asking y'all to talk okay. since I pulled up here, well, so yeah. For Pete's sakes, Karen, let the man talk. You're trying to get an explanation. He's trying to give you one, but you just don't want to stop running that mouth. I mean... If you're going to talk to somebody, at some point, your mouth needs to stop so you can have a conversation and not just talk over people. Go ahead, thank you. So, he had a bag stolen from his car last night. It had an air tag in it. Air tag places it somewhere between these two houses. So, you know who lives in the other houses? We're talking with them right now. We're going to go next door, but the air tag shows okay, it right here. Okay, that's fine, but don't go searching through my brother's garbage can for Y'all don't property. have the right to do that. That's and y'all know property. better than that because y'all are police officers. Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans. You know, I'm going to have to say this. Your little argument saying the cops can't search the trash cans is wrong. Now, yes, there are tons of, tons of case law where we're allowing cops to search trash cans. And majority of them do say that the trash cans need to be at the curve. However... Since the air tag is going off and it's pinging to this location, that would grant them extra circumstances to search his trash cans on his property. And that wouldn't violate his Fourth Amendment for unreasonable search and seizure. Now, if you want to try to argue this in court, the only case I can find that would remotely be any possibility to help you would be the case of State v. Stevens, 1985. That case evolved a, <clears throat> a sheriff's deputy from Milwaukee County, hiring a trash collection agency, well, agent, to collect the trash from a suspected drug dealer, which they got a warrant from the evidence from that trash. The state Supreme Court even said it, they were allowed to do so, because it was consensual of giving away the garbage. So, Karen, you're wrong, and I'm calling shenanigans. We Don't do to, no shit without permission. To do it. Straight up. We have the authority it's really to that. search the garbage. No, you don't. Now, without my brother's permission, you don't. That's illegal in a... I can't even search my neighbor's garbage can. So I know you can't search my brother's garbage can. Don't do, okay. don't do nothing like that without his permission. Thank you. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay. So what are we doing right now? Here. All right, who else is home right now, Mario? Just you? Right, I'm gonna have you step out. Are you? Have a seat for me. I'm gonna be uh, securing the residence because the residence smells like weed. We're gonna be applying for a search warrant. Is there anybody else home? Okay, have a seat. Have a seat for me right now. We'll talk about that later. Hey, Tisha. Hey, Tisha. Police department. Make yourself known if you're in here. Do it now. Hey, they said they smell weed. Y'all don't smell no weed, so y'all can Stay get out. out here. Stay out. I don't out. smell weed. My brother Stay don't out. smoke weed. Stay so out. did y'all check the neighbor's house if y'all smell Stay weed? Out. No, sir. Y'all don't have the right to do that. There is no scent of weed in this house. Do y'all want to come and smell? Do y'all want to come and smell? We're recording right now. Does someone else want to come and smell? My brother don't smoke weed, so it don't smell like weed in here. Stay out. Get out of my brother's house before I call a motherfucking lawyer. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Well, due to the YouTube guidelines of violence, I've actually had to 
remove the footage of her being placed in handcuffs so I don't violate any terms of services with YouTube. I do apologize for that, but please bear with me while we get to the next segment. That's so that's so weird. They just doing this late and go search his house. Have a they seat. Y'all don't have the right to search his house. Have a seat. I will. Y'all don't gotta grab me up no. like that. Y'all do not have the right, Mario. Tell them that they don't have the right. Back to the car. Go back that way. Right now we're securing the house. Tell them right now. Just don't be mad. Just tell them. You do not have the right to go in my house. We are securing the house. Tell them that, Mario. Tell them that. Tell them. They do not have the right to go into your house without a search warrant. Mario, if they had the right, they would already be searching it. We cannot let you back in the house right now. That's fine, Mario, but tell them. Mario, listen. Shut up and listen, boy. He didn't say so. What a bitch. They're not searching the house. What they are doing is a security sweep of the house. There's two big differences. A search would be more thorough and detailed where they can actually go through different items and objects. A security perimeter sweep allows them to go in there, open closet doors and bedroom doors, and ask people if there's anyone in there to come out. And if there is, they escort them out of the house and they explain why they are doing so. So you're wrong on no, it's not a search Tell them we're they not, do not have the right to search the house without a search we're warrant. And they the need to wait. The we are not Don't searching the house. Well, you guys were just we in are, there without his searching. permission after we told you not we'll to be in stop there. Stop me. breaking my law off and this will be a lot simpler. Right. If y'all leave, this will right. be solved right. way simpler without y'all here. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Y'all search this shit, y'all ain't got no reason to be searching. You check the bathroom right quick. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do, but right now, go check the bathroom right quick. Y'all think they're trying to take advantage of somebody that don't even know how to move. That's all we're trying to do. It's a point eight. Right now, we're waiting on another officer because things are kicking off way too much, man. You do not know what y'all really is talking about. Y'all do it too much. 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 Y'all do it
you I'm recording. From our ability to conduct this no, investigation. No, he, he has mental problems. I'm trying to let y'all know. Let now is the time where you're under arrest. You're going to get searched. That's fine, but under Stay. arrest for Stop one. moving. Two, sir. One, two, three. What am I under arrest Stop for? Stop moving. Are you going to tell me? All is resisting. That's what you're under arrest for. because I'm not moving. I'm just talking. So I'm just asking. Whoa. Yelling. Pulling back from the officers. Trying to get away from them. Shoving yourself against the, you know, against the car to try to get leverage, that would be considered resisting. But again, I'm no lawyer. You, what I asked you to come over to the what car. What am I being arrested for? Why am I in handcuffs? Is anyone of y'all going to tell me that? To protect me, y'all mother city. Okay. That's it, mother. Me... I'm going to get in the car, bro. Please leave me alone, bro. Real fucking talk. Get away from me, bro. Why did you get by me? I've been having a hard time since as I came up here. Can I talk real quick? Car, then we'll talk. All right, to you. that's fine. But listen, it's when I came, it's hard to talk when no one's letting me speak. Because now isn't the time to talk. No, now is the time no, to I'm talk. No, what the? Back. I have the right to talk. Sit down, please. Y'all put me in handcuffs because y'all don't want me telling my brother that y'all don't have the right to go into his house without a search warrant. But what am I being arrested for? What am I being? Why am I in a handcuff? Why am I in handcuffs? Because you're not listening. Because I'm yelling. I don't have to listen to y'all. Yes, you do. Woman. I can yell if I want to. Y'all weren't listening when my brother said not to go in this house for a. I don't even know. We're writing a search warrant. My brother did, told y'all not to go in his house. We have a right to freeze the scene. We're not searching. That's fine. So we're writing that's a search fine, warrant. Y'all gotta tell me what I'm in handcuffs for. You're in handcuffs. Well, you're in there for several reasons. One interfered with them trying to do a safety sweep of the house to secure the building so they can get a search warrant. Two, being disorderly, resisting, and then trying to run up on the officers. That's why you're there. That's why you're in cuffs. Also the fact that you don't want to let anybody try to explain the situation to you. You just want to talk over them and try to be try to be the big shot that you are, Karen. Cuffs because you're not listening and you're resisted for I resisting. I drive by and these mother searching my brother's garbage can. I pull in. Why y'all searching my brother's garbage can? I asked that at least four times. Neither one of the officers wanted to respond to me. Liar! A bag stolen from his car last night. It had an air tag in it. Air tag places it somewhere between these two houses. So then I get to asking my brother what's going on. Then I start asking the other uh, people who called the police what's going on. They get to tell me what's going on. Now he wants to butt in and tell me what's going on. Hello, y'all don't have the right to search my car. You do not have the right to search my car. On oh, my son, I will be pressing charges. That's on my son. Okay. The same lawyers that's fighting my little baby brother's case for him being killed in a crash are gonna be the same motherfuckers that's gonna be doing this for me. Okay, Mario. Let me explain to you what's going on, okay? I know there's a lot going on here. Unless you've already explained. I was just doing that, finishing okay. it up. Showed up here, okay? The air tag is popping in, all right? Open the door, it smells like weed, okay? That gives me the right, by law, to secure the residence for the application of a search warrant, which I will be doing, okay? That means I can go inside, secure you and any persons that would be in there. The residence is secure, okay? In that cursory, uh, protective sweep, he located our backpack that You said it wasn't there, okay? No, Obviously, that's an issue we will address when we get to it, okay? Obviously, you've probably been doing some things that you're not supposed to be doing, okay? Part of how we can approach this type of issue now is I can absolutely continue to proceed and apply for that search warrant, and if the judge approves it, I'm going to search this residence. The alternative to that is, with your consent, I can also search this residence. Obviously, we know we're going to find a backpack. That's mainly what we're here for, and probably could have avoided it if you would have just turned that over to begin with. Um, but now we've gone, obviously, a little bit too far. Is that your sister there? That got a little bit too vocal about things, even though we were 100% within our right. But that being said, I'm going to ask you, will you give us consent to search your building here? Now let's play along here. They already found the bag, but they can't take the bag without his consent to search the house or without a search warrant. So, he's got two options. 
Option A, wait for the search warrant, and then whatever else they find is going to be an additional charge, or option B, they give he gives consent, allowing them to go into the house, go to the bathroom, and retrieve the bag. I'm not a betting man, but I would take option B. But let's see what he takes. Um, it just, I don't care if you guys search it, just please do not mess. We're not going to dump it. Is there any weed in there that we need to be concerned no, about? But I have bags of clothes. I need to do laundry. Okay. I'm, I'm not concerned about laundry or anything like that, but you give us consent to search your residence here. Actually, I don't, because responsible, a responsible person, I would rather wait until we get word from the judge. You know That's, fine. That's fine. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. That's fine. At this point, I'm going to place you under arrest for a theft at this point. Nothing else that can happen after this. Nope. Right now, I'll be applying for that search warrant. If the judge approves it, I'll be um, searching the residence. Hey! I need to breathe! Can you please... Hey! Can you please crack the door a little bit? Can you please crack the door a little bit? Let me turn the... I need some fresh air and this handcuff... It was no reason for this handcuff to be on me so tight. I was not resisting. I was just yelling. I Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans on you again, Karen. You were resisting. You were being uncooperative. You were being hostile and aggressive to the officers. So, <clears throat> that's why you're in the cuffs. I, was, I put my hands behind my back for them. I was just yelling there. I don't know why this handcuff is so tight on my wrist. What? Uh, and I heard so, nobody. so, Please sir, get away from me, sir. Can you listen for a second? Information, okay, so, so, we need to identify you, and okay. then you'll be able to go. Can That's I get your driver's fine. license? That's no problem. Like, I don't so, even have my license. I'm not okay. driving. Would you be willing to give him your like, information? Yes, I, okay. I will. I'll take your info. Justin Johnson. I have no problem giving you my name. It's just I do not feel safe around you. I understand. Too and that's why I thought maybe you and I could okay. switch aggressive for me. Okay. Like, well, for real. Price can I borrow your squad keys? I'm going to roll the window down. Why? She just wants some air, which is fine. She starts screaming and goes back up. What's your last name? Can I get somebody else? I don't need to your attitude. You want to that? That's kind of No, no, no. You're going to talk to me right now. What's your last name? Why is he talking to me? Because like I'm that? tired of you guys not listening when I give you orders. You guys, my, I, what, stop, what do you mean? Stop. You, just, you and your sister. I'm going to help you. Let me, let me just. Yeah, go. you can handle it. Jesus Christ. Car reeks of weed. We're going to let him leave. My son, dude, if I ever catch this out here and he comes at me like that again and I have my gun permit, oh my God, dude, I'm a. I swear to God, anything I'm in the rights to do is gonna happen. I don't want it. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yell. I never wanted to yell. I just wanted someone to listen to me talk. As soon as I start raising my voice and yelling, they're like grabbing me up, putting me in handcuffs, roughing me around. It's like no reason to do that just because I'm yelling. No reason to do that. When if y'all would just sit, calm down for a second and just listen to me and answer the one ba little basic question that I had, which is what is going on, then none of this would have happened. There was just straight up no reason to do me like that. I tried so hard to be a good person. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not necessarily true. When the cops were trying to do their safety sweep of the house to secure it, you tried to run back inside the house. A house which you don't live in. A house that you don't even have residency to. But no. That's not the, the yelling wasn't just the reason they put you in cuffs. The fact that you were resisted a lawful order and became disorderly and hostile and would not de escalate is why you're in cuffs, Karen. And all these threats you're making are not helping your case any. I do my best. I swear to God, dude, I stay sharing posts on Facebook about the officers in this city do good. I don't even share bad the police bro i swear to god i don't dude i swear to god i never do no shit like that but bro i swear i can't do this no more because what the dude i don't deserve to be treated like this dude i'm involved in the community and everything bro i donate i do everything i can for this city bro and i'm steady getting treated like shit, bro i don't give a what the family done did i'm just asking for i'm just asking to be treated like a human bro like what the i do to be pushed up against like all right well, now that Karen's sob story is over, we're going to end the video here. Karen, at the end of this video, decides to make threats that I can't play without risking my channel getting a community guidelines strike or this video being demonetized before I even get a chance to monetize it. 
So she is charged with resisting arrest and making threats against a police officer. Her brother was charged with two misdemeanor counts of uh, possession of a stolen item and possession of narcotics. In this case, the marijuana. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. As always, I'll have links down below, and I'll have an original link to this video, so if you guys wish to watch it, you can, in its entirety with unedited versions of myself. That being said, be safe, be well, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.